you have to create an environment where they can flourish. Sanjeev Mehta is a classic example of a one-company man. He's been with Unilever for over 30 years. He headed the business at Bangladesh, Philippines, North Africa and Middle East. In 2013, he returned to India to head Hindustan Unilever as an outsider and turned it to an advantage. Rural market. I was in Unilever for 21 years, but I had not worked with Unilever in India. You know, when you come in as an outsider, you have an advantage. You can look at things with absolutely fresh pair of lens. There is nothing like a holy cow. You can challenge everything. And challenge he did. Under Mehta, HUL's annual revenue nearly doubled from 27,000 crore rupees to more than 52,000 crore rupees. That's a compounded annual growth rate of over 8%. The company's market capitalization has zoomed nearly five-fold from just over one lakh crore rupees to nearly five lakh crore rupees. Mehta's leadership began with a simple mantra, culture, capability and communication. That became the axis for growth. From Surf XL to RIN, to Pepsodent to Close Up and Dove, HOL has more than 50 brands across its three divisions, home care, beauty and personal care, along with foods and refreshment. Sixteen of these brands have a turnover of more than a thousand crore rupees. Under Mehta's leadership, HUL has managed to drive premiumization across all three categories, creating a total turnover of 10,000 crore rupees through just its high-value products. But that doesn't mean that non-premium categories have been ignored. You look at growth is uh, straddling the price-benefit pyramid. We have ensured that we occupy all the benefit space and all the price points in all the big categories. Soon after Mehta took charge, HUL rolled out a new strategy for growth called Winning in Many Indias. The new structure transformed the company from a four-brand structure at the front end to 14 distinct consumer clusters that roll into five sales branches based out of seven locations. But this was easier said than done. Winning in many Indias is recognizing that India is not a homogeneous entity. It's a very heterogeneous entity. If you travel across India, you will find that the uh, uh, language, of course, is different. The palette is different. The traditions are different. The category evolution is different. And in many cases, our competitors are different. Mehta was not content with organic growth alone. In 2020, the company acquired GlaxoSmithKline's consumer healthcare business. With this, iconic brands like Horlicks, Boost and Moltova joined the HUL empire, making it the largest food and refreshment business in India. But more importantly, it's opened new doors for the company. At some stage, you will see us uh, unfolding, which is a big thrust for Unilever globally, is the space of uh, vitamins, minerals and supplements. Meta has also been preparing HUL for a significant digital transformation. The area which occupies the maximum amount of my personal time is reimagining HUL. As Sanjeev Mehta gets set to retire, he leaves his successor, a company with more than 50 successful brands and several businesses. A business where culture is the key connecting tissue and one that breeds high performance. In New Delhi with Sundar Rajagopal, this is Shireen Bhan.